people feel so alienated from society, they feel so hopeless, they feel like nothing they do matters, that then when they hear about a billionaire doing something good, they're like, oh, maybe everything will be fine. Mm. Because Elon will, t I, I remember feeling that way myself. Like before I really started looking into Elon Musk, you know, this was like uh, eight to 10 years ago. And I just heard about like, oh, this guy's like investing so much money in like green technology yeah, and same. stuff like that. He's I was save like, humanity. I was like, oh, that's great. And I know that people felt that way about the Patagonia guy too. Oh, my, oh, that's wonderful. Oh, a good one. Mm. Oh, oh, I feel relief. But, but like, to uh, the reason we have that emotion is because we've we've accepted this vision of our own powerlessness that is not true. Like we have so much power, were we to get together, form you know, form into groups, get politically organized, and fucking use it? We yeah. don't need these motherfuckers to decide how the world is supposed to run. We can do it together. Right. We could also probably the three of us kick uh, any one of their asses. It's true. I know. <laughs> I know. I could take Elon one on one. Look, Elon Musk is such a he's such a fucking moron. <laughs> he's, he's, the, he's, he's one of the stupidest men to live The guy stumbled into making some money on PayPal Oh right? man, there's he, like he, five guys out there who are going to be so mad He half okay. found it He half found Look, by the way, I'm so sad that everybody hates Elon now Because I was the first, alright And I was saying this shit <laughs> back when everybody thought he was incredible And I was Is nobody else seeing this? Yeah The guy, the guy is like partially responsible for PayPal uh -huh. The payment service, that sucks That's yeah. Great job. Then he purchased as uh, he purchased an interest in Tesla oh, yeah. after the company started. Kicked out the original founder who sued them, and then got an arbitrator to decide. Or maybe I forget exactly how they decided it, but he got himself listed as a co-founder. Yeah. Invented nothing with that company. Uh, SpaceX. You know why SpaceX exists? He bought it's it from guys. He, he bought it, but also the federal government decided it was going to get out of the business of right. uh, itself doing uh, you know, putting money, doing NASA and, and sending people to space. And it said, we're going to start like paying private companies to do it. And SpaceX was just like, uh, we'll take that money, please. Yeah. And that's it. That, so it's a profitable company, but that's because it's just a fucking government space. It's suckling at the government's teeth. And that's part of the reason why he is so fucking untouchable is because of their reliance on SpaceX at this point, I think. I mean, that's part of it, that he's been so, you know, he can do and say whatever he wants. He can just s piss a little bit of money at whatever lawsuit comes his way. I mean, he was able to $44 billion to buy Twitter, which is great, by the way. I <laughs> mean, he's like, that whole Twitter thing is just like, how fucking stupid can you be? Like, every step of it was the was him making the stupidest decision anyone's ever made, right? Just like I don't know, I Kanye like, buying uh, Parler is, is up there. <laughs> but I feel like maybe you just don't see his vision because it's leading to X, which is the internet of everything, and yeah. it's gonna. The, he just cut three to five years off of X, so maybe you just don't see it. The tunnels are what drive me fucking. <laughs> oh, the, oh the fucking! You put a Tesla under Las Vegas and just drive through a tunnel at thirty-five yeah. miles an hour. Like That's fucking cool. He he he. The guy destroyed so many public transportation projects. There were. It, people forget the Hyperloop, right? Which was a fake plan that has never been built. When he announced it, it was specifically him saying, we shouldn't build a bunch of other public transportation projects because I have a better one. And a bunch of projects were canceled because of the Hyperloop, which was fucking fake. Yeah, right. Like, it's never been built. And the, and the, the boring company, like, it's just building a couple... Of, tunnels already existed, motherfucker! Yeah. What the... What is your... What is any of this? Thank you. Yeah. Oh man, when we saw that, I mean, we were talking about it on the show. We were like, "Has this guy never seen a fucking subway? It's gonna, he's gonna, <laughs> his head's gonna explode." When I he mean, sees that's what everybody subway. said. Yeah. yeah. Like, wait till you hear about trains, <laughs> my man. Ridiculous. But I mean, that lends itself to the stuff you talk about on the show. Of you know, you talk about how basically since the 1980s, and it started before that Carter was uh, deregulating things, and and it's been going on forever. But there's been a complete loss of confidence in government, and and everyone's pushing that message of like the private sector can do it better. Yeah. And we're now living in the apex of like, this is the world, this is what we traded and we're getting to see. Not just, not just government because I, I think I look, that show was about the government. And so of course we focused on that, but I think people get a little caught up on government. It was a loss of faith in public goods period right. on things being for the public. 
Things being public used to be a good thing in America. Public pools, public transportation, public parks. That used to be like a value. And if you go to some cities, you know, the reason I, I uh, am a fan of, you know, I, I grew up in, in New York and I love New York City. One of the Best reasons is got. there's still a lot of public shit in yes. New York City. New York, you know, I was just there and people were like, oh my God, you got to see the park that they built under Domino the Brooklyn park. Bridge. Domino Park too. Mm-hmm. They built they built parks everywhere. Yeah. They, they started public water taxis like public ferries like it is a city that is still built on you know what everybody needs this let's make a really good one for every- now a lot of stuff still sh- sucks in new york but like when was the last time los angeles created something that's for the public and said wow look at how great this is uh, you know it, it the almost k line dude well even the new k line the k line is good they do that the same time that as they're cutting bus service yes. which is la actually has a fantastic bus system that goes all over the city and that's what most people rely on but they they're cutting bus service at the same time that they open the k line which they're building for the olympics but even i mean during the pandemic Pandemic. I went to go visit friends, and oh, so you've got friends, yeah, wow. in, in New York, and they've got all these fucking public streets closed off. People are going down, walking around, seeing each other outdoors in like a safe yeah. way. And I was like, it is nice out all year round in L.A. Why I couldn't think of a like a place in L.A. where I yeah. could go do that. I was like, what the fuck? Why do they hate? Us having any sense of community. You know what you can. You know where you could go do that. There's a couple places in the Los Angeles area where you could go do that. You could go do it at Disneyland. You could do, <laughs> no, for real. You could do it at the Grove at the Americana. You could do it at one of our many outdoor malls. And when you think about it, what? Where do people like to go? For to relax with their families, they like to in in Southern California. They like to go to a place where they can park, and then they can walk around an area where there's lots of little shops and right. things to eat and things to look at. A fucking city, right. in other words. Yeah, that is what like Rick Caruso, who's running for mayor. That's what he's built his career on building for us. We could have that. Mm-hmm. We could have that just all around us all the time, and we wouldn't need to drive, you know, uh, an hour and a half to Anaheim in in our hot fucking bubbles <laughs> because yeah, we could just do it. If we if we were willing to build that world for ourselves. Right.